Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine if ClO3- is a polar or non-polar molecule, uh, is a non-polar ion and to find that out we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So if you look at the lowest structure of ClO3- ion over here, you can see that chlorine atoms in the center, it is forming bonds with oxygen atom out of which it is forming double bonds with two oxygen atoms and a single bond with one oxygen atom over here. Uh, besides that, it has a minus 1 charge because of the fact that it is accepting an additional electron and that is the reason it has a minus 1 charge uh, on its uh, molecule and um, it also comes at play when you are looking at the polarity of the molecule. So uh, this is the general idea, this is a general Lewis structure. The second uh, factor that we consider while we are looking at the polarity of the molecule is to look at the electronegativity value for both the atoms that is chlorine and oxygen in this molecule and find out the differences between them. So the electronegative value of um, oxygen is 3.44 and for chlorine it is 3.16. So if you calculate the difference, it is not more than 0.4, which means that these bonds are not polar in nature. So um, generally, if the bonds are not polar in nature, the molecule is non-polar. But here, if you see, it is not the case over here because it is all uh, because it is not symmetrical. Uh, first, second, there is a negative charge on this uh, molecule, which contributes to its polarity, and as a result this molecule although there are no polar bonds in this molecule it is a polar uh, molecule in nature so it has a dipole moment in it which uh, makes this ion a polar ion and that is because of the fact that it is not completely symmetrical there is a little bit of asymmetry over here as you can see these two are forming double bonds and this one is forming a single bond and because of this asymmetry and because of this negative charge that this ion already has this uh, molecule or this ion is a polar one so I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.